Hi, and welcome back. In this section, I will show you how to use the layer panel. Don't worry, make yourself comfortable, and I will show you in a few steps all the features of this tool, which is really super easy to use. To open the layer panel, simply go to the menu bar and drop down the menu until you find the layers option. A small window will open in a default position, but we should know how to move it to another location if we want to. Well, let's explore its features. To create a new layer, the process is very simple. Right-click in the panel and from the following menu, choose Create New Layer. As you can see, we have added a layer to our list. The other layers you see in this list were generated automatically because they came from third-party software. You can rename the layer, which is called Layer 1 by default, simply by clicking on it and entering Edit Mode or right-clicking and choosing Rename from the menu. To delete a layer, simply select it and press the Delete key on the keyboard, or, if you prefer, from the menu that appears by right-clicking on it, then Delete Layer. Now let's see how to add objects to layers. The easiest way to do this is to select a group of objects from the Outliner or Viewport, then Add Selected Actors to Selected Layer. If you want, you can create a new layer directly from a selection of objects. Select the objects from the Viewport or Outliner, then, Add Selected Actors to New Layer. If no objects are selected and you right-click on a layer, you can delete it, rename it, or select all the objects of that layer, or add the objects of that layer, which we have selected, to the current selection, or deselect an active current selection. As you can see, the layer panel is very easy to use and is very powerful for organizing the project. Let me tell you a few more things. When we import a third-party model structured in layers, they will be recognized and added to the panel. The same thing happens when we import a model with Datasmith. Through this eye-shaped icon, we can show or hide a specific layer. Remember that you can add a group of actors to a layer simply by dragging them from the outliner in the way you are seeing now. I think that's all about this panel, and remember that if you liked the video, only if you liked it and found it helpful, then please leave a like and activate the notification bell. This will help me grow the channel. Well, we are saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.